Hello guys, the Pokemon Chaser here, and today, welcome to my, uh, fifth episode of the Pokemon Chaser Gaming Podcast, starred and hosted by, of course, Jordan Wynn, the, Nick, the, obviously, the real name of the Pokemon Chaser, and, um, today was a really good week for gaming, I mean, I mean, nothing was questionable this week, I mean, like, nothing has, nothing suspicious has popped up except one certain rumor about the, about, a listing on Amazon. We'll discuss that later in a podcast. But I want to go on to the first topic, which, but the first topic is Pokemon releases a actually Game Freak and Nintendo releases a release date for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, as the release date for those games are November nineteenth, twenty twenty one. While, uh, what is it called? Pokemon Legends. Arceus will be re- will be released in 2022 with the release date of January 28th. Now this is really good for Game Freak to keep doing the November 19th trope. Um, that's because like everyone's buying gifts for their kiddos already for Christmas and Thanksgiving's just rolling around a corner with kids and people like spending money on Pokemon and having their breaks during Thanksgiving. Which is good. Thankfully, it's not during the school year because if you want if you want max to in productivity, you're gonna have to wait until the kids are off school. Now, some kids are off before or after nineteenth of November and off like a day after Thanksgiving. So I think that's a really good move here. January, I think, is also a good move because. I'm not sure if it's just me, but a lot of people have off days in January, so they can be playing Pokemon Arceus, or Legends Arceus, on, like, February, because we do have a lot of off days in my school in January and February. I think a lot of kids do, too, but I'm not too sure about that. And schools, it's a little different, because they're not all the same. Some, Some places, like wear uniform rules, and, you know, it's not even the exact same. Every single thing is going to be different. The way they teach, the way they score tests, and the way their days are off. Now, now we we never heard some news from Sega in a while. Well, we, well, this week we actually did with the reveal of Sonic Colors Ultimate and the accidental leak of Sonic, like, I think this is a beta name, Sonic Rangers. Now, I don't know if that was a joke or an accidental leak, but I do want to talk about Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, I think... I think uh, Sonic Colors came out in 2006, like, on the Wii and and on the DS. Now, the DS and Wii versions had a... We're on Nintendo only, but now with Sonic Colors Ultimate... It's going to PS4, Xbox, I don't know which version though, PS4, PS5 probably too, uh, Nintendo Switch, and Epic Game Store now. It might be made using Unreal Engine because at Unity, I mean, not Unity, uh, Epic Games is usually hosted by a lot of Unreal games, like Unreal Engine 5 stuff, so I think it's Engine 4 or 5 right now that they're operating on. And, I mean, they probably will be using their own customized engine, but we got, like, a few, uh, so, we got a few trailer, we, I think we got a trailer and a teaser for it, their, their actual trailer was just the Wii gameplay, they didn't show any of the DS gameplay, of course, because, you know, DS is so retrograde nowadays, but, once you actually look on a cover title, there is a list of wisps on the uh, ultimate t- title cover. So there's yellow, orange, pink, blue, green, and violet. While the DS version has red and void, like purple, purple, uh, yeah, the purple one, the purple void. Like violet, violet, I don't know what it is. It's like a monstrosity. But it appears that red and the purple wisp will not be an ultimate unless they uh, add it on to the cu- title cover later. And also, if you di- 
if you download it digitally, I think you get some, like, pretty cool stuff, and you pre-order it early, you can get more cool stuff. Um, speaking of release dates and all that other stuff, Minecraft, or, or should I say, Mojang has released 1.17 free release 1. Now, in the pre-release, if you don't know this already, it means... That they're going to release 1.17 or any other version pretty soon. So, we might expect June or the middle of July for this update. While 1.17b is going to be like December or November. Just like Pokemon or Nintendo, obviously. We don't know the release date for Sonic Colors Ultimate. I just want to specify that, specify that real quick might be like 2022 or something but yeah so the pre-release adds a lot of stuff that was removed from 21 21 w 20 a 21 a excuse me and it adds a, a lot of stuff back in like candles i can't remember but they had a bug listed that it just like you know what, I shouldn't even talk about it. I don't even know where I'm going with this. But, you know, the Dro, they're probably releasing it in June because they're already releasing pre-releases. The team's been really working hard on this update, especially with all a lot of bu the bugs that were brought with it, like the ice caves. I wish they kept that one. I think they did. I don't know if they fixed it. But bugs are often introduced in features in Minecraft. So we might get that as a feature, like in mountains or something. And also, speaking about the Amazon listing, there was a apparent Nintendo Switch Pro listed on Amazon. Now this caused a lot of panic and a lot of freak out because people are always thinking like, oh, when is the Switch Pro, quote unquote, gonna release? Now. Nintendo has said they're not going to release a Nintendo Switch Pro just yet. It probably won't be until 2023 for that to happen. Um, so, there was a rumor, like, I think it was by accident, the Nintendo Switch Pro on Amazon, that it caused a lot of stir and a lot of panic, because, you know, Nintendo said they're obviously not going to make a Nintendo Switch Pro, yet there's a listing on Amazon for it. And people are just causing trouble all over the place. They're theorizing about what it's going to do. Because obviously the Nintendo Switch Pro is heavily theorized to be released very soon. Because we're in its mid Nintendo Switch's main midlife. So like about six years ago they released a Nintendo 3DS XL. And then they released it until 2021 which this year they canceled it. It's been 10 years since the, it originally came out. So, we, like, f mm, I don't know. It was released back in 2016. So, five years then. So, we might, we actually might, we're, we might actually already be in its midlife before Nintendo, m Nintendo makes another console and the Switch gets really outdated. Unless they don't want to do that anymore and just keep Switch. I don't know if they'll keep the Switch. I mean, it's going to be interesting this time. Because I never thought we were going to get another console after the Nintendo Switch. And I still believe it to this day. I don't know if we might. Because the Nintendo Switch is the almighty powerful console of the Nintendo. I mean, there might be a Pro whatever version coming out soon. But I think that's what, what we'll all get for Nintendo consoles. Unless... I, I think they, like, they're not even in the console war. I mean, Nintend I mean, place Sony and X Microsoft are really going hand-in-hand -hand in it. With the Xbox Scarlet and the X, I mean, the PlayStation 5, they all released back in, what, 2020? And Nintendo Switch probably got a head start. It did get a head start. So, yeah. If you like this podcast, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And hit that notification bell if you want more videos just like this. So, yeah, I guess, uh, see you later, I guess. Bye-bye!